Hello, and welcome to PCI's DEM Editing Best Practices video guides. In this chapter, we are going to go over best practices for DEM editing of riverbanks in DEMs extracted from high res satellite imagery. Our main objectives in this video include best practices for editing steep embankments and verifying accuracy. So, for this lesson, we're going to work with the Pleiades DEM, which is a 1.5 meter resolution digital surface model of the Melbourne area. And we're going to focus on two areas. So we're going to focus on this region here, as well as this area right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up our DEM editing tools and basically enter our DEM editing environment. At this point, we're just going to draw. So we're going to create a new empty uh, polygon layer. We're going to draw a polygon that outlines the region that we want to edit. This will be one of them. And then we're just going to edit this area as well as it's a relatively challenging area too. So the goal here is that we want to edit out the surface features such as the trees and buildings, but we want to make sure that we do not negatively affect the terrain in these more complicated regions. So it's important to note that editing a steep embankment in high-res satellite imagery uses many of the same concepts that we already demonstrated in Chapter 2, DEM editing of complex terrains. So let's start off with the smaller area over here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, one, just make sure that this polygon is the selected polygon. We're going to change our operation to Terrain Filter Rough. And we're going to keep our size and gradient defaulted. So the first thing here, we can just simply click Apply. So it's done a pretty good job, maintained a lot of the features in the terrain, but you can see that it does appear like there was some over filtering in here. So we're going to use our one-to-one -one preview tool to just see what the orthos look like from uh, this edit. So once we have this tool drawn out, we can just zoom into an area, use the back and forth tools, and we can see that although it did a pretty good job in a lot of these areas where we can see that we have good stability, and remember where we have very little movement between the left and the right image, or the stereo images, means that we have a good vertical accuracy of our DEM. So overall, it did a very good job. The trees are moving back and forth, as we can expect. But when we look in between the trees, we can see that they're quite stable. However, when we get to this region here, we can see that we do have a problem along this ridge. It was over-filtered, and a lot of this terrain was actually removed, which is why we're getting this back and forth movement here. So this is going to be the area that we're going to want to fix. So after identifying the area that we want to fix, we can go back to focus. We're just going to undo the filter that we applied, but by keeping our one-to-one -one window up, we still have what the ortho looks like. So we can use this as a guide, as we did in Chapter 2, in order to identify where we have problems. So here we can just then use the vector drawing tool, or the new polygon tool, and we're just going to draw some polygons to outline the areas where we have issues, but we want to make sure we get the surface features because these are creating stability polygons that will help stabilize this area later on when we do an, uh, the filter again, when we reapply the filter. So we're just drawing a few areas out. And once again, as I said, you want to make sure to avoid the trees. Okay. So now that we have all these areas drawn, see if there's anything else that we want to draw. Maybe just a small one right there. Just right there. Now at this point, we can just sort of stop this. And we can go back, and we're going to reapply the filter. So we're going to select our major polygon. We have our little stabilizers here. And we're just going to reapply it. So now we've maintained more of this ridge. So if we go back to our one-to-one -one window, regenerate the orthos based on this new DEM area, and if we toggle back and forth, 
you can see that the areas are now stable. The only things moving are the trees. So we've now effectively fixed this ridge. So let's now move on to another area. So we're going to go down to this region here. It's a little bit more complicated. There's a little bit more embankments here. There's more varying terrain to work with and many different types of features. So the process is very much the same. We're just going to select the polygon. We're going to use the defaults here and just click apply. Then we're going to zoom out. We're going to draw our one-to-one -one window over the region. Okay, and then we can use the same concept. So at this point, we can just quickly evaluate our area, zoom into the region, and we can do the back and forth. And we can see that we have a lot of issues in this area, which looks like it could be a little bit overwhelming to work on, but I'm going to show you it can be quite quick how we can improve this region. So I'm going to stop that, go back here, do the same process where we're just going to undo the edit that was applied. And then we're going to go back to our resolution, our ortho high resolution image here, our viewer. We're just going to toggle this and we can either keep this toggling and draw our polygon or we can kind of just keep a memory of where we have the issue. So we know that we have an issue down here. So I'm just going to draw a polygon that kind of follows this road. We're going to use this road to help stabilize the area. I'll just do it down to there for now. If you want, you can go all the way down. Just gonna make it really thin. Then we can toggle back and forth, see where else we have issues. So maybe we can use some area around here, help stabilize that region. And then we have some issues up here, so we can just worry about that. Draw on these nice long linear polygons. And then maybe along this ridge here we might need a couple stabilizers. Okay. We can go out here as well. Not to stabilize that area. Okay. Small ones here. And then we have some issues in this region. Okay, so we have these little polygons drawn here. Maybe a little bit down in here. Okay, so now that we have these polygons drawn, go back over here. We're going to reselect our major polygon and we're just going to apply the filter again. Then we can go into our full res ortho preview window, regenerate the orthos based on this new edit to the DEM. Then we can go back and forth and we can see we have a very stable ridge here. So if we zoom in, we can see the stability is very nice. If we look at the features here between the trees, they're not really moving. The trees are moving as they should, but the features between the trees are quite stable. There's probably a little bit of work we could do on here, so if we wanted we could add another stabilizer there to improve that area. Same thing with here. But overall, we've completely stabilized this area as we have using these uh, stabilizing polygons.